That's yeah, okay. I don't watch TV. I'm well, like I'm old and I'm just. Like, yeah, like, that's all right. That's I don't watch right. as much TV as as my roommate. I, but I'm know. when I go home, I'm gonna be like I'm chilling, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then I and then um I I gig. I'm a gigger, so I'm in a you know. Yeah, doing you no, oh, well, I have done stand up, yes, but okay. that's not my focus is acting. Okay. And then I'm in an upcoming Reese Witherspoon Nancy Myers movie that coming out later this year, and then an episode of Criminal Minds Beyond Border. So I've just did that, did that finish. That's post production. That's all done. Yeah, it's wrapped. So it'll come out this holiday season. So anyway, so. Okay. 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 Don't ever okay. say anything like I don't, that. You know what it is? I get embarrassed because I want to feel like the producers are, feel like I'm like encroaching on their project. They're like, who the hell? Who does this person I know, is? That's like me too. It's like, I can't be small anymore. You know, you, know, you do. Th- I mean, I understand that. Okay. I can humble. But you're in it. Okay. All right. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. That's good. You're knocking everything on. No, no, no. You're fine. Thank you. Edie Falco from Sopranos. Edie Falco. Edie Falco from Sopranos. Okay, ready? Okay, yes. Because you have to get out of here. Uh, well, we just want to, you know, we don't want to get caught in a yeah, right, in this ugly snow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh sure, no worries. Okay for Twitter. Yeah, we're okay to tweet with yes, you guys. Yes, of course. Okay, Hangster cool. Chen is my. Han- Hangster. Okay. Okay, give it. Yeah, you give a Twitter okay. shout out. Okay. okay. Hi, welcome to Indie Entertainment Magazine. We are here at the Sundance Film Festival 2017 with Hank Chen. Yes, right, hi. Right. Thank hi, you for welcome. having me. Yes, and so grateful to talk to you because you are busy and you've got not only one, you got two, you got three projects. I, I have, you know, I wish I could say that I wrote, directed, and starred in three <laughs> right. projects, but I was lucky <laughs> enough to be a mm-hmm. part of um, three projects that I shot last year and just rat a tat tat in uh, December. Uh-huh. I was like, oh my God, they're all going to, to Sundance. Sundance. I heard about Lemon first, the feature film. Now, who directed and Lemon? Janiska Bravo. She's okay, a Janice. Sundance alumni. Right. She's, um, they, got, they have quite a few movies of the alumni here this year. Oh, I've yeah. noticed that. Well, yeah. I think Sundance is really great when it comes to protecting their, um, you know, their their voices and like right. the people that they brought up. I mean, they're, they're yeah, really... Yeah, they the, alum- the lab alumni. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So right. Janiska was a, pro- was a part of that. So yeah, right. I mean, but I found out that there were three other projects and I was like, Maybe I should go to Sundance. <laughs> what do you guys think? That was a very loose pack. Let's I get feel, busy. <laughs> well, I've never had a project end up at Sundance before. Oh, so this is your first time? Yeah, I was like first time in three projects. I, and I was yeah. like, what are the chances that I yeah. could come? I mean, but I feel like from, from this point forward, I might start like talking to my manager and agent, be like, only submit me to projects that are going to go to Sundance, <laughs> South by, like, and tell tell your ride, like you Project know. I'm the, oh, oh, yeah. I mean, it's fantastic. The energy. Having I'm having a great time. I'm having, you know, like even the snow doesn't even bother me. I, I feel love like it's the snow. It's kind of exciting. It's part of the festival. It's the culture of the festival. It is part of the festival. Yeah, I heard everybody someone squawking out there. Come on, no, this is exciting. No, you know? I no, love it. no. And honestly, you so, know, when you live in California, I mean, this is, California. yeah, this is, I mean, it's sort of like this is, this is just part of the experience. Let's not complain too much because we have it pretty nicely over there on yeah, the West Coast. Do. I lived in New York for eight years, so oh, did you? No, th- this is nothing. Okay. <laughs> this is nothing. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> so then you lived in New York, and then you you made the move to L.A. I did. So why did you do that? I at that time I had a movie with Robin Williams that was on okay. that was about to be released. Oh, uh, you were acting in it, or yeah, were you? Okay, I was acting in it. So it was called the it's it was it is called the Angriest Man in Brooklyn. Okay, and it starred him, Mila Kunis, Peter Dinklage, Melissa Leo, and it was uh, I you know I loved the film, mm-hmm. um, and it came out in a limited release, and I feel like maybe it was just. Um, poor timing, but I mean, Robin passed oh. shortly after came out in 2014. So oh, okay. it was, so uh, that time. it was a very, yeah, it was, uh, it's on Netflix. So okay, what's it, what's it again? It's called the angriest man in Brooklyn, the angriest man in Brooklyn. And it's Robin on Williams. Yeah. That was his last film then. Well, it was the last theatrical release. Okay, after okay. he passed, there were still three more films that came out. Oh, after but okay. he was an incredible and gracious man. Right. And so, you know, I came out here thinking, Oh, I'm in a Robin Williams movie. You know, maybe this is the time. Cause I had worked in New York for several years and years. Did you do theater first or did you do? 
through I trained in theater, film. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So where'd I, you train? At the actor studio, the actor actor's studio. master's program, the James Lipton School of Acting. Oh, with yes, the inside James inside the actor studio <laughs> on Bravo. Right. Yeah, we were. He's incredible. He's terrific. Yeah. yeah, we were. I mean, all of those um, people asking questions at the end. Those, that's us. Those, those are the students in. Oh, okay. In the theater. Okay, and what people don't realize is this one-hour show with commercials is literally a three and a half hour taping. Right. Yeah. So and then they edit and, and then yeah. they edit it down. But I right. mean, can you imagine in New York in January, <laughs> February, being told that you have to go to um, sit sit well, for three well, hours? It was always exciting because they're like, "Oh, Michelle Pfeiffer's coming," or "Alec Baldwin's coming." You're like, "Yes!" And then by literally, did you guys know who would be in this? Who they would you be? Know a couple of days ahead okay. of time, and then they tell you when you. Um, when it's time, when like when the time is, will be like Tuesday at seven p.m. or six or depending on the schedule of the, of the artist. Uh-huh. But like I said, I mean it's I mean that is the dead of winter, and uh, you know think yeah. about New York and the subways. And so by the time it's like eleven o'clock, yes, it's Matt Damon, but you're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not who cares. It's still terrific. But everyone's just thinking that like we have scene study tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. <laughs> Right, we gotta, right. we gotta, like not only that, but we have to get like if it's past midnight, it's gonna, be, it's gonna go. The train's gonna go local, right? right? And most right. of us lived in Brooklyn or lived in Queens. Like it's, <laughs> we're gonna be home at one thirty. We're gonna have to wake up at seven to yeah, get to class get the, to next class the next day. But uh, really exactly. Tired. But oftentimes we're just like, oh, you know what? If we're gonna be tired, we're just gonna be tired because right. we're sitting here having this once in a lifetime experience. Yeah. And I, I can't quite remember. I think I do think it was required because we were students, and so it was part of the program. It was an extension of the classroom to have these terrific artists come in right. not only promote a project that they're in but also talk about their work because because Lipton I mean he gets in there I mean three yeah, hours yeah, is, yeah. is it's a, a long thorough and you have to prep thorough. I was a radio talk show host and when you did like the day before, I mean you know you prep your those are hours before uh, go back and watch this episode his stack of blue cards is this thick yeah I've seen yeah the, and he he's amazing he's a great great um he doesn't I don't know if he's, what would you call him, a journalist? Would you, I, I don't know, interviewer? He's, he's everything. He's, just, he's everything, People yeah. forgot he was an actor on a soap in, in you know, the 60s. I forgot which Probably one. Probably a he, voiceover as well. He did vo- his voice is amazing. Right. He, um, uh, in the mid-2000s, he was, like, Conan loved bringing him on and doing a bit with, like, the horny manatee or whatever. <laughs> I mean, he just, James Lipton does everything. He wrote right. He wrote some musicals that went to Broadway. Right, I know. I, I found that out. And I, and I think he did, I think he started Inside the Actor Studio literally when he was, like, 60 years old I mean it was his like third fourth fifth chapter right, and it's just right. and I, I don't you I mean don't you appreciate people like that this is a I man mean, who knows how to reinvent himself right he's right. he's he's the Madonna of acting right the Madonna <laughs> <laughs> right? just constantly reinventing himself right right so no so tell us about one of the pro- the, the project lemon it stars um St- stars so Brett Gelman Brett Gelman and Janiska Bravo okay. are married and Janiska uh and, and Brett wrote it and produced it together okay. stars Brett um he's he's you know He's been overdue for a starring vehicle for a very oh, really? long time, yeah. and it's one of those things where it's like, hey, maybe you got to create your own work in order to showcase what you got. Yeah. But um, and that's, a, that's a good point because yes. there's a lot, there's a lot of that here. I've noticed a lot of people that directed, they wrote. Mm. And they star in. Yes. So, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. No. In fact, that's how it should that's be. A, that's, that's a real mega star. Yeah. If you feel reality. like you're not being given the opportunities that you Then create deserve, it, right? Then find a way to create it. Mm-hmm. I mean, look, it's it's still war because it's hard to get any movie made. But, right. I mean, they did it. And he's, and, oh, I, I can say this because it's yes. been released. Brett Gelman will be in season two of Stranger Things. <laughs> I'm so, so excited. I'm so excited. Have you watched that. Stranger Things a little I bit? Have I have not. I, I know. Have, we were talking about afterwards. I mean, I know, before that. Yeah. I don't even I don't watch it. It's hard. Things, There's so much good content out there. But hopefully there someone is. will watch us and get very excited because Stranger okay, Things. Okay, say it again. Stranger, Stranger Things, Things, Stranger on, Netfli- Things. on Netflix. Okay. You do. Okay, yeah. There's some people, there's some people that he do. He's terrific. Yeah. But he got he, he just called in all of his friends. And so Judy Greer's in it. Michael Sarah, Megan Mega Mullally, Sherry Appleby, Fred Melamed. So he pulled them all in. He Yeah. And it's, and it's terrific. It was really well received last night, and you know I'm lucky that I met him and Janiska through the traditional um, route through a casting director and auditioning. But since then, we know we've kept in touch, and I was at Brett's 40th birthday party, and it just he's really he's he's a really kind and generous man, and I think he's you know finally getting his due, yeah. and I hope that this continues for him. And I'm just happy to be a part of it. You know I have a I have a, I have a supporting role in it, and and it's and it's his it's his movie. Right. So and so happy and to be here. And the, and the thing too is there there's a lot of people in this business. I think it, it gets a bad rap because um, there's a lot of nice people. Oh I mean, yeah. Uh, talent and behind the scenes, good people. Yeah. You know, and so I, I think sometimes it gets a bad rap that you know, talent is this or that. But 
No, you know, you guys are pretty cool. Well, there's some mean ones too oh, that, yeah, that make the other ones away, look bad, right? <laughs> right. Those are the ones that real that the media sometimes really stands out. <laughs> yes, of course. You know, really, you know, brings to light yeah. their behavior or uh -huh. whatever. But um, but there are really some really good people. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And so um, so did you always want to be an actor when you were young? I think. When, did, when did you get this notion? Well, I, you know, I was kind of raised by the television. I think my mother regrets it now, <laughs> but no, she did I'm regret sure. it. She's, well, I mean, like I, my parents are Chinese and so English is a second language for them. Oh. And I, um, she tells they me, come here from I, China? I, they, you know, they were part of that second generation. Okay. So they were, um, the grandparents went from China to Taiwan okay, in like during World War II, okay. during this whole debacle. So they were like, they were, my mother was born in Taiwan. Her older sisters came over. My dad was like three months old. And so they were raised in Taiwan, but they're not Taiwanese, if that makes any okay, sense. Right, right, yeah. Right, but culturally Chinese. And they right. came over here in uh, the late 70s and had me, you know, a while, while later. And, mm -hmm. uh, and they did the best that they could. But <laughs> I, I think they, they said, and I don't remember this, but I, I remember parts of it but I'm, I think they said the first day of preschool I showed up I didn't understand what anybody was saying anybody oh. so they took me home for a week and sat me in front of the TV oh. and I watched <laughs> Three's Company rerun and a star is and I watched and it's, oh, I learned I know I know. and the funny thing is like Three's oh. Company I was like I don't think they understood any of the innuendo because oh, I watch I watch <laughs> Three's Company reruns now and I'm just like oh my this is a dirty show <laughs> this show is so filthy oh. <laughs> and well, I, so I learned funny. English I from television, okay. and then I would say uh, television had an impact later on my, in my life right, right. during middle school and high school, um, and it uh, helped with my coming out process. Okay. And were you raised in New York, did you say? Or? No, so I was raised right outside of uh, Maryland, uh, D.C., so okay, in Maryland. So in Maryland, okay. So I've only ever known cold climates until I finally moved to California, <laughs> so uh, seriously, okay. son, this is this is nothing. Uh -huh. yeah, I didn't um, know. But yeah, but television, I would say in many ways, saved my life. Because, and I think that's the power of art, you know, where yeah. where people who might feel isolated get to see versions right. of, of themselves reflected, and they can feel validation, you know. Right. I think everybody, right. everybody just wants wants to matter. Everyone wants to feel like they're a little less alone in the world. Right. And uh, and, and it's interesting because you know, like all the, I, it wasn't so much a negative, but a lot of times I always tell my kids, out of a negative in, uh, event, yes. comes a lot of positive. I I you hope so with this election. I no, really you, hope could, so. you couldn't understand the language. Yeah. They took you home, mm -hmm. and here you are in Sundance. <laughs> <laughs> so funny how. Yes, yeah. Well, but, well, well, they're, well, well, they're now going to think, oh, God, the television turned our, turned our son into an actor and gay. Oh. But I was like, no, no, no. It facilitated w the person I was meant to be. Yeah, you meant know, to exactly. Be. Right, right. <laughs> well, Hank, you're, you're wonderful and, again, talented, and congratulations. Thank you, Mom. On being here, thank I you hope so you have much. a wonderful time and yes, best of luck. Yes, it's with exhilarating. Everything. Yes, and no, really. thank you so much for having me. Yes. everyone, check out Lemon. Yes. Okay, what what is your Twitter? So Hankster Chen, uh, at t on Twitter and Instagram. And Instagram. Find okay. me, stalk me. <laughs> stalk him. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for joining thank us here you. in Park City, Utah, folks, with the Indie uh, with Indie Entertainment Magazine. This interview you can find us online and uh, Sundance 2017. Uh, Congratulations again. Thank Thanks. you so much. Don't set the, the, I I know. the lights on. It's running all over yeah, again. Funny. We're, we're, we're